let's move on and talk about the Grand Ghana Tour. Diplomacy meets challenge, grit, and determination this August. As British High Commissioner to Ghana, His Excellency Mr. Ian Walker cycles across Ghana from north to south, carrying over a thousand kilometers. Dubbed the Ghana Grand, this adventurous journey seeks to, re, uh, to kindle conversations about health, our natural environment, tourism, and many more. So uh, overcoming challenges while raising funds for the plastic surgery and Ben's unit of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital for 10 days. Ms. Ian Walker will be cycling through Ghana, interacting with the many extraordinary Ghanaians while making intermittent stops to experience the beauty and warmth of Ghana. Remember, the challenge is not just to cover a thousand kilometers and more, but also to raise funds for the plastic surgery and Ben's unit of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. We need your support with the fans and that's why we encourage you even as the tour continues that you can using your phone if you're on mtn support but by dialing star 700 star 9 hash follow the prompts and type in code the ghana grand that's a way of contributing to this worthy course if you're on for the phone cash here's the number to use 020 756 or you might want to do so using the traditional medium, which is via the bank. It's standard chatted. And here's the account number 01001040610801. Follow on the social media handle at UK in Ghana uh, for updates with the, the Ghana Grand. For us here at Multimedia, we're proud to be the media partner. And that's why Kojo Yang Singh is... With this tour throughout, here's a wrap of day six of this adventure. The MC for Salaga Tamim Mohammed was at the starting line to bid farewell to the Ghana Grand Team as they set off at 6 a.m. on day six. Speaking to Kojo Yangsen, he extolled the tourism and development potential of the area. We at the moment are trying to revamp the attraction area. For instance, uh, we have here the slave market. The sleeve wells, excuse me to say, the sleeve uh, grief, and the sleeve, uh, well, what do you call it, uh, uh, wells, where you can go and see how the sleeves will be used to fetch water from the wells, where we have a place where they used to bury the sleeves. When, after I said, bring them to the market, they pass one way, they go to bury them. A whole lot of places that you can go and see. But you know, these things are not organized. Uh, in the past, in, 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 over the years, and so we are trying to see, in collaboration with the Ministry of Tourism, my MP is doing well in that direction, mm. to see how we can revamp this industry, mm. so that we we'll get people attracted to this place. Yeah, but as, as we speak, they come, mm. the tourists come once in a while, mm. except that it's not organized. That is what we intend to do, mm. and the Ministry of Tourism is prepared to help us in that direction, All right. in collaboration with the municipal assembly. So we think that by the close of this year or early 2020, the roads will be fixed and that will make this community attractive to tourists to come and visit this area. Later that morning, the team arrived in Pandai where His Excellency Ian Walker took a quick breather outside the Pandai Senior High School. The curious students and the assistant headmaster came out to say hello to the riders. Cycling since 6.30, I was feeling quite tired and I saw, I think I saw some of the guys in there uniforms and I got a big smile. It was quite uplifting, so I stopped to say hello. So uh, thank you so much for saying hello. It's been a lot. It's lovely to kind of come into your neighborhood and see you. Okay. It's a big school, eh? Yes. How many pupils do you have? We have 1,000, 1,150. Well, and what's the name of the school? Bandai Senior High. Bandai Senior High, okay. And it's from a school from all around the, around the region? Do the, the pupils come yes, they all come from, the, uh, from all over Ghana, not only all over Ghana. Yes. Okay. Yes. And is it a boarding? So it's a boarding school. It's then, a boarding school. Okay. Although we have a few uh, distance. So, okay. Okay. So okay. 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 You can see our school facilities are not well developed. Now that you have come to our area, after you have gone back, 
will knock on your door and appeal for your assistance. The team received its most rousing welcome yet from the people of the OT region, who, led by the Deputy Regional Minister, filled the ferry that picked up Ian Walker and his team for the half hour journey into Dambai. The festive mood turned into an impromptu party with music provided by OT Radio. <laughs> Commissioner and a cycling partner, Joa Downham, plan to cycle 126 kilometers from Dambai to Hohoi later. <laughs> And this is all fun too, right? So hard work and fun. And we're urging you uh, to contribute towards this course.